And we're here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, 2021 at AirVenture. And we're in the international booth in the D building with regional Reg, Reg. Saunders. And he runs the tour tourism Ministry of Tourism in the Bahamas. Welcome to Oshkosh. Thank you. Happy to be here. All right. Um, in the last few years, how is the travel um, in the last year? How's mm. the travel coming back into the Bahamas via air and boat? Um, well, let me speak to air first. First of all, I'm Reginald Saunders. From the, I'm the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Tourism and Aviation. And I want to just say that it's being here is just a, this is my first experience. It's phenomenal. Um, there are so many things to see, so many interesting um, persons that we have met, pilots, aircraft owners, and um, I think our team is doing a wonderful job here to, to sensitize uh, persons about getting into the Bahamas, flying into the Bahamas, enjoying the Bahamas, and appreciating the beauty of our Bahamas. The Bahamas is, is so close to the United States. Um, Bimini is only 65 miles off the coast of, of Florida. And how do you see is general aviation that coming over and visiting? Um, general aviation is definitely on an upswing. Uh, there was um, somewhat of a lull for a while, but I'll tell you, during COVID, one of the things that kept the islands alive were the aircraft owners and the boaters who came yes. and visited the islands and supported the economies in those various islands. So we appreciate the aircraft owners and the boaters for making the Bahamas their destination of choice. I know uh, after Dorian, three days after the storm, I was there myself delivering food items for a restaurant group. Uh, we donated a bunch of sandwiches that brought over yeah. and fed the people that are waiting in line to get out to go to other family islands that mm -hmm. did not have a home anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, so and it was, a, was definitely a blow for Abaco. Abaco was, was definitely on an upswing. Yes. Um, its economy was, was probably the best economy um, of all of the islands in the Bahamas. And to have Dorian strike when it did, it was, it was a crucial blow to the yeah. economy yes. of Abaco. But we're happy that um, Abaco is, is resurging. Um, people are starting to return, and we are hopeful that with help like um, yourself and other persons, um, um, Abaco will be where it was, back where it was. I, I know. I was there um, this past month, or uh, Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, the restaurants are being opened back up. I was able to rent a boat. The, yep. the, the rental business is yep. back, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's coming back to life, and yep. it's thankful to the uh, all the government people that have helped in uh, local entities. Yes, for sure. Um, as far as your other islands, um, the growth and uh, with... Well, you know, I can, on, on sort of a, 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 a tourism related, um, in my capacity as, as, the, as the permanent secretary for tourism, let me say that the tourism industry in the Bahamas is rebounding. Um, we have seen a significant increase in visitor arrivals over the past six months. Um, the islands are certainly benefiting from it still. I went to Exuma the other day and there are three commercial air aircraft that go there every day, packed with visitors. Yes. So it's doing very Exuma's well. Exuma is doing very well. Uh, we have the, the cruise port um, development project going on in Nassau. Uh, we see cruise ships coming back. We have um, introduced home porting, so two cruise ships, Royal Caribbean and um, Princess uh, Crystal Cruises, uh, make, made Nassau their, 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 where they pick up passengers from, their home port. And they have family island cruises. Uh, Crystal goes to five family islands and return to Nassau, and that happens on a weekly basis. Um, Royal Caribbean, they also have um, a cruise that originates in Nassau, goes to a couple of their, their islands, then on to Cozumel and back to Nassau. Oh, wow. So you got some tourism right off your island, so you're, there you go. the Bahamians can go to we other islands as well. It's, it's, it's the, the industry is really, really picking up. We think that, um, you know, by the end of this year... Put your microphone a little bit closer. We think that by the end of this year, and certainly by the first quarter of next year, we will be halfway where we were um, when, um, when the pandemic hit in 2020. And as you know, we were at 7.2 million visitors 
back in very very busy in in in, in March of uh, 2020. Yeah. All right, and and um, pilots, we're familiar about filing flight plans to the Bahamas. Yeah. With the pandemic and the new requirements on the health visa, can you go over those a little bit and what's required for the health visa side of travel? Sure, sure. The health visa was something that was implemented uh, to to sort of not only to track who's coming in and out of the country, but also for for information purposes. So, uh, for pilots and visitors coming to the Bahamas. They will have to, if you are not fully vaccinated, you'll have to do the RT-PCR test okay. um, 72 hours prior to your trip. Yes. If you are fully vaccinated, um, there are no requirements. You just uh, complete the health visa application form and you will get that instantly. I think it's a $30 fee for that. And Correct. And that's good for uh, 14 days. 14 days, yes, yeah. sir. So the the now remember now for Americans returning to the United States, you will have to get the rapid antigen test in order to in order to come back. The United that's States. for commercial operators. Now, as a private operator, private pilots, we can go and come as long as we come back within five days of our travel. Beautiful. And that get in with U.S. Customs and, and immigration with that on an, on the other end. Yep. And the visa, you know, the visa process is quite simple. Um, the website is travel.bahamas.com. Uh, uh, all the information is there. It's a simple form. And um, and then also on that uh, site we were discussing that the private pilot guide that's here is also yeah. on that site. So you can choose. Well, this wouldn't be on the visa site. This it would be, be on, on the Bahamas, Bahamas travel site. site. Yeah, yes. Bahamas government website. So this book here the, for the pilots and also this book and any other information that you would require to visit the Bahamas as a private pilot or a commercial pilot or as a visitor, you can check out the government's website. All yeah, the information yeah. is there. And that's constantly updated. I believe that's travel.bahamas.gov, uh, that uh, Bahamas. I believe. That is bahamas.gov.bs. .bs, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Joel. It's, and uh, uh, Again, I, I, I appreciate you guys coming and, and spending some time with us. Hey. And hopefully I'll see you in the Bahamas. It's, it's always a good time in the Bahamas. And uh, reporting in the clear from Florida Aviation Network, I'm Joel Weiner.